Hello and welcome to SOAP UI tutorial. So in the last tutorial we have seen how you can uh, send the post request and create the data uh, using the REST API. And now let's tidy up a bit. So we haven't created the test cases for all these requests. So if you see uh, the resources here, right? So we have the resource for the project, workspace and teams and we have created the test case for the project. Let's create the test case for workspace and teams as well. And in the projects, we have, um, uh, sorry, we, we have the request for the creating the new project and we also have a request for getting the new project. So let me rename this and we'll say get, okay, just to make it more clear and then get all projects in workspace or organization all right so we have two requests here and then we have a request for the workspace and the teams okay let's go ahead and add these to the test cases so we have to add the post so I just right click on this particular request and click on add to test case and create a new test case provide the name so I'll say post create new project <clears throat> and click OK all right so that request has got added I'll close all these windows and here you can see that another test case create new project has been added in this particular test suite. So let's quickly add others as well. So I'll add the workspace, add to test case, new test case, and provide the name as get, because this is a get request. I'll say get, get all the workspaces in organization all right so that's another i'll cancel this and then one for the team so right click add to test case same process and this is another get request so just get get all the teams so that's how you will basically add the test cases in your test suite and then have the assertions in these particular test cases because if you are trying to run these requests directly here um, then you won't be able to add the assertion so if you want to add assertions and do the actual testing you have to basically create the test suite and the test cases and then run the test cases from there to add the assertions and then do the verifications and uh, other stuff so now we have um, added these test cases so that we have seen the get uh, and post. Now the next request we are interested in is put or to update. So for example, we have created a project. Now if we want to update the details of the project, what will be the process? Okay, or how you can run the put request in SOAP UI. So let's go to the documentation again and go to the projects documentation and see what all methods are supported so you can see get is supported post is supported uh, put is also supported and delete is also supported so these are uh, all supported uh, methods so let's see what all details are required to update the details or run the put request so here you can see you have the details or you have the resource or the endpoint so your endpoint is same and then after this particular slash is the resource so we'll just copy the resource and go to the soap ui again now here let's create a new resource i'll paste the details here and click ok so it will prompt you to create resource as child to projects because you can see that in this particular resource you can see this is the parent resource which is already existing there the only difference is the project GID right that is your uh, that is being passed as the parameter so if you go back 
and we say yes then it will create the child uh, resource below the project otherwise if you say no it will create another hierarchy will say no here and then here you can see that it has created um, the project GID right if I delete this and say yes to create it as a child resource then you can see that it has created it below this particular project okay so here what we have to do is we have to provide the project GID to update the detail right and then there will be some payload as well so let's see the documentation again so that's the uh, endpoint and then the body parameter that we need to pass so we just copy that okay and go to the soap ui again now here we will be running the put request right so once you change it to put or post it will ask you for the details or for the json format so provide all the details here so we won't be changing all of the details we just want to show you um, what all how to run the put request right and so i'll remove all the data there and just remove uh, just keep the name there and format the json here so i'll just say rcv academy updated all right so i'll just change the name of the project okay and then that's the data that's json format you have to pass on and you have to provide the project gid which project you want to update so let's get the projects first okay so to get the project we'll just run this get request and we'll say get all the projects once we get all the projects we will see which project we want to update so this is the gid for the project that we want to update so we'll see rcv academy demo project that's the gid just copy that and come back to the request and provide this project gid into the value all right so that just leave it as template and now what will happen is with this put request this is because this is the update method it will search for this particular project with this particular id project gid and update the name of that particular project so in the next get request the name of this particular project if you see here i'll just highlight it so rcv academy demo project will change to the name that we are providing all right so let's run this particular request and see the response so now in the response oh not authorized okay so because what happened is in this particular new request we didn't authorize we didn't add the authentication here right so you can see there is nothing authentication here let me quickly go ahead and add the authentication so now i have added the authentication right which is the security token or token that we have got when we registered for asana developer account now let me run it again and see what is the response now okay that's all good we have got the response with all the data here and now the name has been updated to rcv academy updated right now let's run the get request again and see that this particular project ending with 7163 gid has been named uh, or has been renamed okay let me run this request again okay now you can see 7163 it has been updated to rcv academy updated right so that is how you will run the put request now we have added this request now let's add it into the test case as well okay so i'll just go, go ahead and create a new test case click ok and i'll say put uh, i'll say update project details okay so in this particular request we have only updated the name of the project but if you see 
the documentation for the put request here, you can see that there are a lot many details that you can provide in the body parameter, right? For example, archived color, due date, due on, etc. All right. So whatever details you want to pass on to provide, you know, like to learn more about the body parameter while passing the put request and updating the project details, you can try and figure out a lot more on yourself. But uh, the basis of the put request is all same. Um, you just need to update the request parameter or request uh, body for the put request. So that's pretty much all about the put request. And uh, mostly what we are doing as part of these tutorials is we are all doing all these requests manually at the moment in once we are done with all these four crud operations uh, get post put and delete then we'll try to automate this end-to-end -end flow in upcoming tutorial so that's pretty much all about uh, the put request hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching